Ho, ho, ho. It is that time of the year again when the developers have delivered us a new version of Darktable. 3.8 is out now, and in this and the next two videos, we are going to have a bit of a quick look at all of the new features and tweaks and all of the goodies that have come our way. Let's go. Hi and welcome to episode 101 of Understanding Dark Table. Yes, it's been a long time between drinks and probably at the end of episode 103 I will explain why I've been quiet for so long. Uh, but right now you are here because Dark Table 3.8 is with us and I'm guessing you want to know about all the good new stuff that's there. Well, there is a lot of good new stuff there. So what I'm going to do is break this up into, as I just suggested, probably three videos. And we will just have a, a quick look at the new features. Now, some of it I still need to do some research on. Things like the new Diffuse and Sharpen module. I've started watching Aurelian's one hour and 52 minute video on that. <laughs> I have not completed it yet. Uh, I'm hoping to do that in the next week or so, and I will do a dedicated video for that module. Uh, same with the Blurs module. Yeah, the, there's still some stuff that I need to dive deeper on. So these three videos will just be a very quick look into some of the new stuff that's there. Unlike previous videos, you are not going to see my face in the bottom corner of the video all the way through. I think you've seen enough of me for now. So let's just dive in, shall we? The big ones. The keyboard shortcut system has been entirely reworked and extended to allow you to control Darktable with other devices, for example, MIDI devices and game controllers. Standard keyboard and mouse shortcuts can now make use of mouse movements, horizontal, vertical, diagonal, as well as multiple button and key presses and short or long presses and clicks. Please note that any shortcuts you've previously created are not transferred to the new functionality and will need to be redefined in Darktable 3.8. The new Diffuse or Sharpen module, allowing you to simulate or to revert diffusion processes to reconstruct images from lens blur, hazing, sensor low pass filter, or noise. It can also be used to simulate watercolor smudges, increase local contrast, simulate blooming, or apply surface blur. Special rules can be defined to specifically diffuse across or along edges, as well as to avoid sharpening or blurring them. Other new features and changes. The Denoise Profiled module now uses Wavelets mode by default and its default settings in Y0U0V0 mode have been improved. Flip buttons have been added to the Orientation module, functionally moved from the Crop and Rotate module. An Area Color Picker is selectable by using a right click in addition to the existing control click action. Substitution variables have been added for image dimensions as follows. Sensor height and sensor width for the absolute pixel dimensions of the sensor. Max height and max width for the raw image size. And export height and export width for the post cropping final image size. New sorting options based on capture, import, modification, last export, and last print times. Alright, I think that will do it for part one of our investigation of the new features in Darktable 3.8. I will catch you in the next one.